Hi, I'm Gary, uh, M0TIG, uh, um, and today we're going to talk about um, SDR Sharp and the Air Spy R2 and the Air Spy Mini. Um, hope you enjoy. Okay, today I'm just going to talk about SDR Sharp and where we're going to find SDR Sharp, how to install it, the latest version. Um, it doesn't install quite the way a normal program would install. It, it, it's just a very superficial install and I'm going to show you probably the best way of just tucking it away uh, and creating a few shortcuts on your desktop. That way at least you can get to it quite easily. Uh, um, we're manually doing what an automatic install would normally do. But Okay, I've already got it installed, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it again. So first things first, we're going to jump on our web browser. Now I prefer something like Chrome. Um, and we're going to go to www.airspy. It will go for us. Uh, airspy.com. Okay, we're going to go down to the download section up here. Okay, here we got the, the core tools, which is what we're interested in. Um, with the latest version. So we're just going to select download and just down the bottom here you'll see the actual files starting to, to download. Now I actually use a piece of software called WinRAR. Um, it's essentially it's a, it's a decompression program um, but I'm finding more and more with radio software that some of this stuff is actually WinRAR uh, type file so it's, it's ending in RAR instead of a, a, a zip file so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand this and the demo copy better. Right, so I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it for SDR sharp 2 just so that we know which one it is I'll well, call it 2016 there you go Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to open that up and I'm going to tuck it over to one side. And here are all our files. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them if it'll do it for me. There you go. I'm going to select all our files and I'm just going to drag them over to the other side. And that is pretty much it. Okay, we can now get rid of that. Um, what I'm going to do here is. I'm going to create, uh, we're not going to create any, any shortcuts just yet, but I'm going to close that now. And okay, so once you've, once you've installed the, the, the file to your desktop, or this, this folder to your desktop, you're going to come down here to the Start menu, and you're going to come here to File Explorer, and you're going to go to uh, C Drive. And you can see here, Program Files 86. Just drag, highlight the Files 86, wherever that's gone, keeps moving, okay, and then just let it go. And it just says you need to provide administrative permission and just say yes. And now it'll move that folder across to your Program Files 86. Just scroll down, Program Files 86, and then find the file we just dragged in there, which was called SDR Sharp. So, RS, there you go, SDR Sharp. 2016 is our folder. And now what we're going to do is there are a few things in here that we're interested in, or you might be interested in. One of them is Air, 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 ADSB Spy XE. We're going to create a shortcut between for that. Six and ten. Okay, they we're say going to drag it job. to Hello. the desktop. Okay, and then we're going to scroll ourselves down. We're going to come to SDR Sharp XC. We're going to right mouse click on that. We're going to say create a shortcut. And we're going to drag that off onto the desktop. Um, and we can say replace the destination because I've already done it. But that's okay. So that's that one done. Okay. And then you're also going to be look at Spectrum Spy. Okay. You're going to right mouse click on that one. And you're going to create a shortcut. And there you go. And just drag it over to the side. Now they're the three main programs that we're, we're interested in. Uh, there could be one other in there which I've forgotten about, but for the time being it doesn't matter. 
OK, and now we can close that folder. Now then. So now I've actually plugged my Air Spy in. Doesn't need doesn't need any drivers, and that's the R2. I haven't got a Spy Verter attached. That doesn't matter. Okay, and I'm going to run the software. Okay, I'm going to expand it, and you can see up here there's a a, a source a directory. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to select one of the choices now you might have one of the other other devices which is fine you can just select one of those devices well i haven't i've done this by i'm going to select this by at this point it's showing a zero gain you're going to need to put a little bit of gain in let's put i don't know 90. don't worry about the sample rate at this time um we don't need the spy verter we don't have that attached I'm going to leave it on wide FM because we'll, we can play with the broadcast um, oh, so it's a stuff. And um, you don't need to to, kill it, to uh, correct any IQ oh, or stop any IQ. Um, and that's pretty much us done for the moment. And we can say start. Turn the volume down a little bit. We'll blow these out. And now we have to start that. Oh, can't find the S by the way. Okay, post this seven bucks down near Green Child, yeah? It could mean what we do is we'll just unplug the device which is under the microphone conveniently. Okay, I'll put it down the Green Child and Tower Green Child, yeah? Is Take that, that good, yeah? And then uh, plug uh, it back uh, in. Uh, how do you say? I'll be happy, I'll be happy. Right, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm with you. Okay, so Thank you can, you you can see it's now RPG working, um, but it is overloaded. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the side of 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 the just of the side of the side of the side Okay, now we can start to see a little bit of detail, and that looks like voice or music going on there. Um, so let's let's have a little tune in, um, and let's see what we've got. Well, I didn't get word of that. Okay, right, we've got no audio by the sounds of it, so that, that that's fine. Yeah, oh, we have. Okay, what I should actually say at this stage is that we'll stop that. Okay, if, if you scroll down into audio, you've actually got some outputs here. Well, I've actually got several here. Well, I'm going to um, I'm actually set mine here to sound mapper. Um, you can set this to, to one of your output devices, you know, depending on which one you've got. I mean, you might even have something like virtual um, audio cables, which will enable you then to pipe the audio from this into, say, something like DSD+, where you could possibly decode, I don't know, um, Next Edge or what, whatever it might be, um, uh, DMR, uh, D-Star, C4FM, whatever you want. Later. But you can, right now, we're going we're gonna to select speakers. Okay, and... We don't want to filter the audio at this stage. We just uh, we'll leave it going as it is. So we we'll go back now, okay, and we should have some audio. There you go. Okay. Now to tune this, what we're going to do is you quite simply hold the mouse over the top. Now I'm using the mouse wheel, which is the simplest way of doing it, um, and you can then scroll through the, the, the different frequencies and or you can actually Cosmic just click all over the great on the actual Andrew Castle, uh, spectrum the display. American songbook tomorrow evening between um, 6 and 10 and that works an absolute they say treat. goodbye job hello um now let's just say for instance we want to go to I don't know, let's go and have a listen to some buses so let's turn this down for a second so we'll listen to the um sort of something like the, the bus network which is on about 139 now again, you, you, here you can see there's an awful lot of activity. Now, you, you can see that it's all quite narrow band and we might want to zoom in a little bit. So if you come up at you to the top right hand side, you'll see the slider. Now you can slide this and expand any, any bit of this. And now we can actually say click on any of those. Let's just see what that is. Mm, bit of a dead cat. 
carrier. Okay, let's let's scroll up. Um, Oh, there you go, there's a bit of voice. Okay. Right, okay. Well, made a bit of a mistake here. I've actually left this in AM. So if you come along here, you can see that there's narrow FM, wide FM, all these sort of things. Just click in the... And click in the narrow FM. And now, or actually, you can also see that it's dancing around. That's actually snapping to to something. That's we don't want that. So if you come here, that snap to grid, you can turn that off. And now it won't snap. So now we can listen to what we want to. Okay. All I'm doing is just clicking on the on the audio. Audio there, just click. Just clicking around. That's a bit of audio with the ragged edges. Okay, we can turn the signal up just a little bit if we want to. Okay, 47 bus broken down near Green Road, yeah? You can just see that it starts to come up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'll put it down the green road and tower bridge road, yeah? Is that good, yeah? And we're gonna we're gonna swing it down. Now you can hear there's a little bit of kiss. You can you can actually include some filtering. Ah uh, yeah, I'm with you, Abbey Street. Thank you very much. You can actually enable some IF filtering. One, seventy-two. There you go. Just scroll down. Let's find some more audio. Okay, there's a bit of audio there straight away, and it's gone. Oh, I didn't get word of that. Oh, there you go. Another bit of audio. Good evening, this is call to all 25 mobile, uh, actually got finish in nine for running to the garage. Again, you can hear information the difference. For your colleague, uh, 8406 the filtering is a at the moment. If you finish your info coming to the garage, please avoid getting to 8406. Information for your colleague, traffic is Thank you, control out. There you go. So basically, we, we've we've had we've played around with some basic filtering um, here. I've shown you how to work the squelch. I've shown you how to set the the different uh, modes, whether it be AM, wide FM. In fact, I made a mistake. Uh, let's turn that down. If we go back to um, if we go down back down to broadcast FM. Okay, that should have been in wide FM. It, it would actually, it normally changes. And you can see on the later version here also that they've actually now put these band plans so you can actually see when you're going into, um, you know, depending on which, um, obviously, the area in, in the band you're going, it's actually highlighting it. Now, you can actually create that yourself as well, I should, should add. You can actually put in here, you can set whether or not you want that on or off and you can also show um, you can set this to actually your memories you can actually set to show up here so if there's a particular uh, memory so we can say we'll create a new one and we're going to call it um, broadcast just for the want of something um, classic radio okay and there's its frequency don't need any shift um and you can say set it to a favorite and you say okay now we should there you go show in the in the 
in the spectrum. So now if we want to, you can see which, which radio station it is, it's highlighted. And if we want to go back to it now, we can just double click on the memory and it'll go straight back. This is a fantastic piece of software. Best of all, it's free. Um, it works with all sorts of, uh, of uh, dongles, um, but it's designed to work with the AirSpy uh, predominantly. Um, and because it's by AirSpy, uh, uh, Youssef is a, an amazing guy with, with this, this software. Uh, he sat down with me one evening and, and we went through this uh, you know, quite extensively and it completely blew my mind. It's, it's really very powerful. Um, and it's a fantastic piece of software but obviously it it goes very well with the really fantastic airspy r2 and the airspy mini which both of which i absolutely love i think they're absolutely brilliant um i mean there's probably better sdr um, modules out there I, i'm sure however for the money that they cost it's it's an amazing product they're extraordinarily uh, sensitive and um, you you can you can control um the, the the gain on them and the one thing i haven't actually mentioned is some of the decimation um you can actually set things like this decimation which change how you can see straight away how much it's isolated a signal um, it's very clever how how that works, and you probably it probably be better to read up on it and more than me waffle on about it. But at the, the end of the day, it's a very useful tool if you're trying to clarify a signal. It it seems to 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 lower the the noise level and then just bring the, the the signal or leave the signal where it is. So you've almost got this kind of difference in in the the noise signal to noise ratio. It's fantastic, really really good. Um, Please have a play. Um, by all means, you know, get yourself a, an Air Spy or a Fun Cube or whatever it might be that, that takes your fancy. Fantastic products. Um, and as I say, this, this, this software is free. And also, if you then couple this up with something like DSD, you've got yourself a full fledged, um, you know, digital decoding setup. Fantastic. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, as I say, these are available from stock. As if you check the, check the website, www.hamradio.co.uk for the latest prices. Um, we'll look forward to taking your order. Thank you very much for watching.